Hi, it's Ash from Woodyak Curtains, and today I'm gonna to show you how to hang some net curtains in this bay window I've got behind me. Right, so for putting net curtains in bay windows, there's two main options. Option one is to treat the window as three separate straight sections. The left section, the middle, and the right. And then you're gonna get three separate curtains for each section. Or option two is to have one large curtain across the whole width of the bay. When we looked at customer feedback and asked our customers what they preferred, 90% of them said they preferred to have like one large curtain. They basically said this looked more professional, there wasn't any gaps in the sections, um, there was, it was easier and quicker to fit, and just generally looked like a nicer finish. And to do it as one large curtain, because it's got to go through a curve, there's only two fittings you can use for this. You can either use net wire, which we have here, this is the cheapest option, or you can use like a PVC Swiss track, which is one I've got partly out of the packet here, but in this video, we're going to choose net wire and show you how to do that. Right, okay, so the equipment you're going to need is an electric drill, some 1.5 millimeter drill bits, some masking tape, a pencil, a three meter tape measure, some wire cutters for metal, and if you want to go for the extra strong method, some number six, three quarter inch screws. When you put the drill bit in, do it so it's in seven millimeters hanging out. This means that when you drill the hole, it's enough to put the hook in but it won't damage your window frames. Right, okay, so our first job is to mark with a pencil or pen on the windows where we're gonna drill the holes for net wire. You'll notice with a pencil, it's impossible to mark on the windows because it's all slippery and you can't leave an accurate mark. Therefore, we need to use some masking tape for this. So grab a normal roll of masking tape and then cut off like approximately four inches and start off, put one in the corner where your first hole's gonna be and then put one in the middle at each section where it joins and then put your last two, one here, and then one on the end. This means you can accurately mark with a pencil, and then once you've drilled your holes, you can take the masking tape off. We recommend drilling the holes one centimeter from the top of the window. If you use a tape measure, you'll see that there's a shiny end bracket, and it's difficult to see the sizes. Therefore, we recommend you cut a one centimeter strip of cardboard and use this as a guide. The piece of paper makes it much easier to mark the window. Then once you've done the corner one, Go to the two middles and the side on the other side. Then grab your drill and drill the pilot holes. Now carefully remove the masking tape. Do this slowly so you don't pull up any paint. And then screw your net hook into position. You need to turn this about 10 times clockwise to the right to get it in a tight fix. Right, okay, and a top tip is sometimes the net hook can be a little bit wiggly and loose. And to prevent this, you can take that out and put in a number six, three quarter inch screw. It should be a much stronger solution and um, means that you can put like a lot more force on the wire. Find some net wire. Once you've found one of the ends, you need to put the eye in the end of it. So you just, all you do is to screw it clockwise to turn it to the right and keep going like that. And then that. Okay, and then where your eye is, push this over the hook click on like that over the hook because the other one put one in there put one in here and then you want to go up to here so pull the wire up to it but I'd say about five centimeters shorter and then clip it with some wire cutters and then once you've cut it you can then put your eyelet in the top and the eyelet's in the top now and then once the eyelet's in the top you just pull it on like that and that should give you quite a bit of tension. And once you've cut the wire the right length, the next thing is to take it down and then feed this through the neck curtain. Slotted top, so you can see two rows of stitches, one there and one here. And this is where you want to pass the um, wire through. Basically push it all the way through until it comes out the other side. Okay, so once you've put the wire through the neck curtain, the next step is to hang it at the window. Okay, start on the far left first and hang it over like that and go to the far right and basically spend a little bit of time evenly gathering the fabric out across the width of the wire and once you've got it really even this is an EVA 2.5 gather flick it over each one of the hooks in the middle it will go through the back of the fabric that'll be fine and then the last bit to spread it out and then it's a really clean finish it goes all the way across and um, spread it out like that. Okay, and that's it. 
hope that's everything done. I hope you found our video useful. If you have, it'd be awesome if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if there's any questions or anything, please put them in the comments below. Thank you very much.